I get called speedy a lot. I oh. oh no. Oh god. Oh no, no. Someone called you sweetie. Oh man. The, the, the excruciating pain you must be in when whenever someone says sweetie to you. It's probably like that time Spider-Man took that serum that was supposed to cure him, but it actually made him grow like four more arms. Yes, being called sweetie must put you in an equal amount of pain as that. I mean, seriously, I don't even think being called sweetie is even like a woman thing. I think, I, I mean, I've been called sweetie before, most of the time by like old women. So maybe, maybe sweetie is just an old lady thing. Maybe they just say that to be endearing. I don't, I don't think it's a need for feminism, or I don't even think it's even sexism. I get winked at at work, um, not in like a really obvious way, but just sometimes people walking by, like instead of just saying hello, it'll be like a little wink, because I'm like the little little admin sitting at the desk, and I just, I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I'm a girl. I mean, don't you think you're kind of, I don't know, extrapolating and assuming a lot more into that? There's no way you can tell it's because you're a girl. You just kind of made that up in your mind, attributing things to your gender that, in all honesty, is mostly irrelevant. Maybe they just do it because you're like small and cute, who knows, or maybe that's just how they treat everyone, uh, there's no way to know that, not unless you talk to them, and, and even then, I mean, is this, this, is this really, is this really, you really want to open up your video about why we need feminism with this? It's your video, not mine, so continue. We're still making less than men in the workplace. No, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. I can't. I can't. No. It hurts. It hurts. Just make it stop. You need to make it stop. It hurts. And we're still like, you can't go for a walk at night alone because you're scared something might happen. You know, all, all joking and all kidding aside, I, I completely understand why this is a legitimate fear. For for women especially, but you know, people people in general. You know, but but the problem I have here is as as... Honestly, as I can understand why you're afraid to walk alone at night, what kind of scares me or really gets to me is, what exactly do you expect feminism as a movement to do? I mean, being safe outside isn't a right, you know? As much as people want to throw that word around, it's not a right. You know, you can't expect to be safe from anything and everything outside. I mean, what happens if, if a wolf walks by, you know? I mean... If you mean to be protected by men, I mean, who's going to protect you from men? Well, other men. So, you mean to tell me you think it's a right to have men protect you? Because that's what it's leading up to. Because feminism is, women, is advocacy of women's rights based on political, social, and economic equality to men. But men don't even have that right. So, I mean, again, like I said, I understand why you would be afraid of being attacked late at night. I mean, that's a fear even men have. But... What gets me is I don't know what you expect feminism to do. I mean, it's not a right, and it's not like feminists are going to be walking around in packs trying to keep women safe. There's still unrealistic expectations for women to look a certain way that don't exist for men. There's still unrealistic expectations for women to look a certain way that don't exist for men. There's still unrealistic expectations for women to look a certain way that don't exist for men. There's still unrealistic expectations for women to look a certain way that don't exist for men. 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 We'll talk about a complete lack of empathy. I mean, I know, I know lots of women will constantly talk about beauty standards and unrealistic expectation of female beauty and all of that. But I mean, like, again, talk about a complete lack of empathy. Like, you don't even stop to think about all of the things that you expect from men now, do you? 
And I find that to be incredibly hypocritical about women in general. For as much as they constantly whine and complain about the fact that there's this ideal of beauty they have to adhere to. Which they don't. Just saying. They never once stop and think about all the expectations that they themselves have of the men that they want to date. You know, being tall, having lots of muscles, even having a fucking seven to eight inch dick. I mean, you, you never think about how that's a little unfair, ladies? No? Okay, I'll just get I think that I still can't walk down the street without someone harassing me, but if I walk down the street with my boyfriend, it's totally different because men respect the fact that there's another man by me, but they don't respect if I'm alone. Mm, no, I think maybe they more respect your relationship so much so than they respect the other man. Well, I guess I could see how you could extrapolate that, but even then, with that being said, I don't really even think catcalling so much as a lack of respect or need for respect, so much as... And actually, this is kind of funny, you know, I'll, I'll explain this through a story. I was just thinking about this the other day. I was in the gas station, right? Just buying uh, some snacks. I was about to go hang out with one of my uh, close friends. And uh, there's this one. She was like, I don't know. She had to be like less than five feet tall. She was small. She was cute. Beautiful. I don't know if she was Puerto Rican. I don't know what she was. But she was a gorgeous woman, right? And I wanted to say something to her. I just wanted to, I don't know, just give her a compliment and say something nice to her. But... I didn't, I just kind of left that shit where it was. Excuse me. But I was sitting there and I was thinking about it and I was like, man, that's interesting. I mean, I had this desire to say something to this woman. I didn't even know. I mean, there's, I would really like to get her phone number, maybe talk to her later, but you know, there's no way that's going to happen. She probably has a boyfriend. And then I was like, hmm, interesting. You know, I, I wanted to say something nice to a woman that I was probably never, ever going to see again just because she looked nice. Maybe that's why men catcall women sometimes. I mean, Maybe it's because they understand that there's no way you could effectively build any sort of attraction between someone that you've just seen on the street walking by, which I means it's not even five seconds, it didn't even take five seconds to walk by someone. So there's no way you could really build any type of relationship with someone that's going by. But you want to say something nice, so you just say, hey, well, what's going on? Hey, you look nice. Hey, beautiful. Even as far as, hey, you have a nice ass, I mean, it's still not a bad thing, and I don't really see how acknowledging how nice your ass looks is even disrespectful on account of the amount of women who try to make their asses look good so I'm just saying maybe it's not a lack of respect maybe maybe they want to voice you know they're attracting you because they just want you to feel good that day maybe it's actually kindness that invokes catcalling I'm just saying and one other thing before I end the clip out you do know that there's some women that that seek out catcall right do you, know, do you know that? Probably, probably don't. Women aren't as visible in the media in like real ways. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And don't get as much credit for movies that they make and books that they write. And Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. In a lot of situations, it seems like there's one role for a certain type of, of girl, and sometimes it feels like somehow this room hasn't made space for both of us I don't I don't I don't know I don't even know if you meant to put those words together in that order because it didn't really effectively communicate like any information what do you mean there's there's not enough room or space I don't know maybe maybe you were thinking about something and it just you just didn't communicate it in a way that anyone would understand it because I, I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean I don't know what you're talking about you know, when women are trying to talk, I feel like a lot of the time they get cut cut off. Hey, interesting. I just I just realized that 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 one girl in the pink shirt and the girl here, they're the same chick. She just you know tied her hair up in a bun and is wearing a brown uh, a, t a brown shirt. And the other, it's the same person. Or, or maybe maybe it's her twin sister. Who knows? I don't know. But I mean, they look exactly the same. I didn't realize the same person. You know, I, I'm sorry. You know, hopefully I didn't cut you off in the middle of something important before they're finished talking and I don't know if men are more used to doing it to women or if women just don't say anything when they're interrupted a lot of the time like that they're sort of conditioned to not say like hey no I want to finish what I was saying lady you're, you're a cute one I will say this to you so I will not mock you with the intensity of a thousand suns but I have to say this being interrupted is not a woman problem. I mean, have you ever actually had a conversation with a woman before? Have you ever had an argument with a woman before? It is my firm belief 
that women win most arguments they're in, not because they're right, but because they don't let the nigga finish saying what he was trying to say. I mean, I, look, being interrupted certainly is a very, very rude thing to do. I mean, it's very rude and kind of annoying when you're actually trying to make a point, but that's not a woman problem. That's not a feminist issue. That's a people problem. That's a people being rude problem. You know, and maybe we should teach young children or even adults to respect other people's opinions more to let them finish talking. But that is not an issue for women. It's an issue for people. It is by definition not sexist. Considering that women do it to men and men will do it to women. It's a people thing. Get that shit out of here, please. Thank you. Everybody is connected to this. When feminism started, women were fighting for these intents, like basic human rights. They wanted to be able to work. And yeah, yeah, working, I wouldn't even so much call it a basic human right, it's just a basic human necessity. And, and let's not pretend that women weren't working back then. They were. They just weren't doing what men were doing until like World War II. So they were, they were fighting for something that they already had. I mean, and even then, taking care of your house was a, was a full-time job. Niggas didn't have washing machines back then, and then microwaves, and ovens, and shit. I, no, actually, I do think they still had, I think they had ovens, just not electrical ovens, you know. Get educated, they wanted to be able to vote. And oh, no, well, 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 that's nice. You know, I mean, 15 states allow women to vote before the 19th Amendment was ratified anyway. And interestingly enough, you know, feminists got the ability to vote without having to be signed up for the draft. I mean, that's like a double victory. I mean, you got the ability to vote without the responsibility for keeping your country safe. That's awesome, you know? And things that, you know, like, seem so inherent, like, just so, such basic rights for a person. And maybe now, like, what we're looking for is something smaller than that. And then I sat back again and reflected on what I was just thinking and realized that, like, expecting to be able to go to school and be protected from sexual assault And to know that people are going to give a shit if it happens to you and take action, even if he's a star football player. Huh, well, you want to know something interesting? Well, you, you already got, what, two out of three of that? People already do take sexual assault very seriously, especially when it happens to women. People especially think that's a very heinous crime when it's a man that does it to her. Most people don't even take it seriously when a woman does it to a man, so you, you got it. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's not right. I don't know why you keep saying that. You are misusing the word right. But it, women do have that, that privilege. I will say this, though. I find it very interesting how you would say that it, women have a right to be protected from sexual assault. As if that makes any sort of conceivable sense. I mean, like, like who is supposed to protect them from that? Themselves, right? I mean, they're the only person in that situation that could protect them, because... The school system can't do anything about it until after the fact, so, so who's going to protect them before it happens? You know, I mean, wouldn't that be her responsibility? I'm just, I'm just asking, I'm just wondering. Like being able to be paid as much as a man. <laughs> Those are basic human rights too. Uh, no, they're not. A lot of those things you mentioned were privileges. Bearing in mind, it's not a right for men to be protected from other men. Why do you think we have the First Amendment? The right so we can protect ourselves from other people. Not the right that we are protected from other people. You see what I'm saying there? It's not a right. You, you're not using that word correctly. Now it's like you're going to school and it's like, I'm working towards something and if I'm not going to get paid the amount I deserve or treated the amount I deserve like respect in the workplace and what am I doing? Like this isn't fair. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Why am I unable to walk, you know, four blocks without getting harassed? Why do I have to be worried when I put on shorts to go to school? You know, lady, I know what you're doing. I can see right through you. You you're humble bragging. Like, there's no way you don't know that you're a very attractive, cute lady. I mean, stereotypically, you're tan, you've got short blonde hair, you're an absolutely gorgeous woman. That's You're humble bragging right now, okay? You know exactly why. Because you're attractive. 
And people are going to want to talk to you because you look good. They wanna, they, men are going to want to put their dicks inside of you. you. You know the answer to that question. Stop with this humble bragging bullcrap. I'm sorry. You know, people are going to proposition. Their people are, men are going to offer some dick to you when you walk down the street. But when you get 30, 35, it will never be a problem again. Okay? So all you have to do is hold out. Just deal with it for now, and it will never happen again when you get older. You will have that peace of mind you crave so much. Just be patient. Just hopefully you won't be writing articles about how the patriarchy made you miss it when it stops happening. I hope that is not you. Because if it is, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Like, how ridiculous is this? Sure, you can go to college, but if you get raped, it's your own damn fault. Uh, yeah, yeah, except yeah, no one says that. Like, like you, can, you can look for a hillbilly in Kansas, and, and even he wouldn't say that. Like, no, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but considering the fact that you're the one who made it up, I'm not surprised. Like, you can get kicked out of college in an instant for plagiarizing, but if you're accused of rape, it takes, you know, you, the person that's accusing you has to give an arm and a leg and go through so much trauma just to even get them to think about it. Just Lies. Just because she didn't say it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Yeah, but how is anyone supposed to do anything about it if she doesn't say anything about it? I mean, you're not wrong here, but my question is, like, what is anyone supposed to do about it if she never says anything? Well, are you supposed to just become Charles Xavier? Han Jean Grey? You're supposed to mind melt with people? Like the nigga is Spock or something? Like, she's... What do you want from people? If she doesn't say anything, like, I don't, I don't know what you're asking for here. Every one of the women that are close to me have been violated either physically or emotionally, like seriously, in a way that's completely based upon their gender. And you know, I'm not going to say that your friends haven't been violated, but my problem here is how do you know it's because they were women? I mean, like seriously, like it just really honestly sounds like you're just adding context to something that doesn't exist. And we need some context there. We need to know. Like, what do you mean because they're women? Can you, can you give me an example? No? no? Okay, I'm sorry. And so it's like, thanks for granting us this basic human right and not protecting us at all. Listen, sweetie. Shit, that was sexist. Listen, lady, okay? You can't ask for freedom and then ask for people to come by and protect you. With great power, there must also come great responsibility. I feel like this concept gets lost on a lot of women in general. And I'm sorry if that sounds sexist, but like seriously, she keeps asking for a bunch of basic human rights, but like you people understand, with that right comes responsibility. Do you, you get that? The more rights you ask for, the more responsibility is going to be placed on you. So, so yeah, lady, I'm, I'm sorry if you want to be protected, and then you, if you, you gotta trade your rights for security. That's that's kind of how that transaction works. Otherwise, you, yeah, 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 you gotta deal with it. Sorry, and that's just the way it is. Inequality and misogyny just sort of seeps into how we learn how to be people. how we learn how to relate to each other um, and live our lives. <music> Understanding like the intricacies of how these things work, it's uh, horrifying, <laughs> I think. You know, you're really lucky that you're so cute. Otherwise, I probably would have mothed you about 125 times more than, than I did today. I mean, seriously, here's the thing that gets me about this video in particular. I mean, besides the fact that, I mean, there are some things that were just wrong. I don't, I can't say they're lying, but they're just wrong. Um, there's this common theme that these ladies keep asking to be uh, protected. And on the one hand, I can completely understand why, as a woman, you would ask for that. Because, because I mean, like, because you're a woman. Um, so I'm not knocking them for that. What I am knocking them for is the fact that, they continuously ask for protection, and yet they want to pretend that they weren't asking for freedom a second ago. Like, they want to pretend that it wasn't a bunch of feminists saying that women need men like a fish needs a bicycle. 
I mean, who's going to protect them? I mean, seriously. I already know the answer. It's men. They they want men to protect them, but they want the freedom and the security that comes with all the benefits of being a man. Which I guess you could say is typical feminist shit, but, I mean, seriously, like, you ladies do understand that you cannot ask for all of these basic human rights, which were actually privileges, as that one woman lady, but you can't ask constantly for freedom and then run around and scream and say, hey, I want you to protect me. It's like, no, it didn't work that way. I mean, after all, shoot. You want to be a genie? You got it. And everything that goes with it. Ah, so with that being said, man, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. Yeah, shoot, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I will see you cool cats soon. Adios.